What is pseudotumor cerebri? Pseudotumor cerebri, also commonly known as idiopathic intracranial hypertension, is a neurological disorder characterized by elevated intracranial pressure with no clear etiology. Despite the absence of a tumor, this condition exhibits symptoms similar to those seen in cases of brain tumors, such as headache, visual field defects, and papilledema. It's particularly prevalent among young, obese females, with statistical data indicating a prevalence rate of about 1 2 in 100,000 in the general population and a female to male ratio of 4 to 1. Why is it called pseudotumor cerebri? The term, pseudotumor cerebri, literally means, false tumor of the brain, capturing the essence of the condition where symptoms mimic a brain tumor without an actual tumor being present. The modern term, idiopathic intracranial hypertension, better describes the condition as it denotes elevated intracranial pressure without a discernible cause. Accurate diagnosis is vital for effective management. The process often involves multiple steps. 1. Lumbar puncture. Measuring cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, pressure via lumbar puncture is often the first step. 2. Imaging studies, MRI or CT scans help to rule out other intracranial abnormalities. 3. Visual field testing, essential for assessing optic nerve function and potential damage. 4. Fundoscopic examination, this can reveal the presence of papilledema, which is a swelling of the optic disc due to increased intracranial pressure. Additional diagnostic tools other tests may include blood tests to rule out infectious causes or other systemic conditions. Sometimes, a cerebral venogram is performed to exclude venous sinus thrombosis as a possible cause. Statistics and prevalence to reiterate, pseudotumor cerebri affects 1 2 in 100,000 individuals in the general population. However, in obese women aged 2044, the incidence spikes to as high as 19 in 100,000. Further reading for those interested in diving deeper into this subject, it is advisable to consult scientific literature such as the journal article, Idiopathic Intracranial Hypertension, Contemporary Understanding and Management, which provides valuable insights and the latest research findings in this field.